Today we're going to decorate a pot with this little napkin and uh, the name of the napkin will appear on the screen. This napkin is from Ninny's Napkins. It's some gorgeous little kittens and it's going to be a very easy project because we only have to uh, separate the napkin out from there and then put one on either side of the pot. So there's not a lot to do. This would be a quick easy project for anybody to try. This napkin is from Ninny's Napkins and if you look in the description below you will see a link to the site and a discount code that you can use. Hello, my name is Judy West and I'd like to thank you for joining me today. As you can see I've already painted the pot white and I did that with a couple of coats to get it a really nice stark white under the rim and now I'm cutting up the napkin into two separate pictures there and uh, I'm going to peel off the layers in order to get a nice picture uh, using the water method so I'm just uh, got a long bristle brush and uh, doing a nice wet line around the outside of the picture all the way around first up and uh, now I'm holding the napkin on the side that I want to keep while I pull the excess napkin away on the wet line and that gives us a sort of a rough edge white edge that will go on the pot but it would be very hard to cut that out and get every little hair on the kitten and every little blade of grass. But because we painted the pot white, uh, that rough edge will just blend into the white background and you won't really see it on the pot. Especially with the way I put those napkins onto the pot with the water method. It makes them sit very flush against the pot. There's no ripples or ridges or bubbles or creases. Uh, the napkin sits very very flat. Once I've got all the way around I check out the napkin to see if there's any excess white pieces. If I want to get closer into that picture I just uh, do some more wet lines and then just peel it away again. Now if you're enjoying watching this video please press the like button and if you would like to see more uh, just push the subscribe button and the little bell and that'll allow you to be notified of any future videos that I might put up. And I'd just like to thank you all at the moment for my, your support and uh, let you know that I am uh, love the comments uh, and uh, I'm only ha too happy to answer any questions that you pose. Now I've separated the two, nap uh, the two pictures and I'm going to position one on each side of the pot. Um, I think that's the way I'd like to go with this one. So whether you're looking from the back or the front you've still got a cute little picture on this pot. And the method I'm going to use is the water method. So uh, the first thing I need to do is put down a piece of plastic and I need to get this plastic very wet. I have a little spray bottle of water and I'm going to just completely wet this uh, plastic, get it nice and wet and put this napkin down picture side to the plastic But then I'm going to take the lid off, because it's such a large piece, I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to just pour a little bit of water so that it gets quite runny on there. And using just a flat brush, I'm just going to make sure that water is spread over the whole napkin first. And now once the, all the water is completely saturating the whole napkin, I will then start to spread it out so it's sitting perfectly flat with no creases and air bubbles under it. 
and this is quite easy to do when it's floating in water. Okay now I've got a lot of excess water on there so the next thing I need to do is bring my water container over and let the water, the excess water, pour into that. And now I'm going to spray this pot all over and get it really wet where I want to place the napkin down. Now this is the biggest one I've ever done. And I don't know that you'd use a piece any bigger than this. Now I'm going to take this and position this so that the little ears come down under the rim and that this is firmly sitting on there with no creases in it. Because the pot is wet, you can push out any water out from under that kitten and make it sit perfectly flat. And when you start to lift, make sure that the napkin is not lifting with the plastic. Yeah, that whole little kitten is on there. And if my fingers are wet, I can then push it down firmly or I can come back with the wet brush and push everything down firmly, even where it goes under the bottom of the pot. Sorry about the dog bark. Once you've got that all sitting down firmly, you might come back with um, my excess tissue, and scrunch it up and just dab off any excess water. Now I'm going to just turn that over and do exactly the same thing again. While I was t doing this second one, I found that this ear was folded under. There's a little piece folded under there. Now, while there's plenty of water, you could actually put a toothpick under and easily um, move the folded piece out without hurting the napkin. As long as that toothpick is sitting flat against the plastic, it can go under where the water is and that extra piece will just float out. I think there's a little piece there too. Yes, there. See, to see that little piece came out? So that's another, it's easy to fix little things like that when there's plenty of water on the plastic. Now that I've got these napkins on, I need to use my watered down Mod Podge to coat the whole area below the rim, just including the plain white bits, not just the napkin, but every section with Mod Podge in order to secure this to the pot. Just putting it on with water is not sufficient. It has to be totally secured with Mod Podge and I water it down so that the glue will just soak right through that napkin easily because it's a thinner consistency and just keep those napkins nicely secure onto this pot. Now, if you wanted to be even more certain you might let that dry and then come back with a second coat just to ensure that every little bit of that napkin is completely secure and wipe out any ridges or anything that the, the glue is forming. Get that glue just sitting nice and flat. Just be very careful when you're going over the napkins also that you're not going to wet them so much that they, they lift and separate. Don't let that brush dry out. Have it very wet with glue so that it gives it a good coating over over the top and this is a soft bristle brush that I'm using don't want a stiff bristle brush and don't push super hard just a nice easy brush over the top double check it all as you go around make sure it all looks wet there's no dry patches so you know you've completely covered the whole thing I'm actually going around in a different direction now just to make sure that I've got a good even coat I'm not leaving lines in the glue by going in two directions and make sure the pieces that have gone underneath the pot are completely secured. So I'm just going over past where they are and covering that whole bottom section with Mod Podge. There we are. And then you just leave it upside down to dry. And then if you wish to, you come back and do a second coat once that's dried. We now need to do the rim. And... I'd like to make the rim sort of mottledy like that lemon and green that's in the um, in the grass. So I'm going to put a little bit of a lemon out and I'm going to put, well this lemon is a Joe Sonia and it's called Island Sand and this one is Shamrock. I'm not sure, that might be a bit too cream. We'll give, we'll do a little bit of a mix up and uh, see what it looks like mixed. Uh, that gives me similar to that color there not exactly the same but similar so if I put a little bit of that through there and do the same here 
then it'll match up the top and then I just have to go around the edge and do underneath the rim first. I'm now going to mix up another batch of this same colour and just do around the rim and I'll redo this to give it a second coat I think to make sure they're exactly the same colour. Now that that's done we just need to do the ledge, the top ledge. Now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a sponge, a little sponge here. I'm going to wet it so that when I want to clean it out, then the colour will come out easily. If you put paint onto a dry sponge, then when you try to clean it, it won't clean properly. So I'm going to do a mix of all this, get a real mottledy finish, and then I'm going to come around and just tap this edge and get it mottledy looking like the grass down the bottom. So it's not a, a solid colour but a mottled finish. And I'll do the same on the rim on top as well. So now this is what it looks like. It's not a, a solid colour but a mix like that down there. Just a little bit more interesting. Okay, I decided seeing I've got so much extra paint left that I might just run this along the bottom edge and join this up a bit too so that it looks like it's all part of the same scene. I need to get my hand inside that pot in order to do this. I'll just run a bit of this in here as well so that it looks like it's all the same colour and then there's it's just a continuous scene now and I'll just finish this off under here and use up the paint I've got left but there's that you can see what that looks like it's a little bit more interest just let some of that come up over the kittens as well so that it it just all color matches and there's our little scene all finished and uh, oh, I might have to sit this on this in order to dry because both the top and the bottom are wet at the moment so I'll put that over that and let it sit on there so that the whole pot can dry this is the completed pot as you can see it's got green all the way around the bottom which makes it look like it's all one scene and it's got a mo nice mottledly rim which matches the grass down the bottom now uh, I'm not showing you on camera but if you were to finish this off you would give it a gloss or a matte finish to seal it and uh, as you can see in the back background there on the left there's a bottle of Liquitex uh, acrylic medium and it's a gloss varnish and that's what I use and I paint this inside and out to give it a shiny finish but for those who want a matte finish I choose a matte sealer uh, and this one has handles UV and uh, can handle water uh, so you could potentially put this pot outside although I think it's too pretty I'd put it inside but uh, just make sure your sealer does the job that you want it to.